You're listening to Africa Media Matters from the Institute for War and Peace Reporting. Few journalists face more immediate challenges than those who risk their lives on a daily basis reporting for Radio Shabele in Mogadishu. Several have been killed and the station is constantly harassed by Islamic militants. Yet Radio Shabele continues to fly the flag for independent journalism in Somalia. In recognition of its work, the station was recently awarded the Reporters Sun Frontiers Press Freedom Prize. The station's Ali Daher told Africa Media Matters why he and his colleagues persevere despite the dangers. It is very, very hard, and sometimes it can cost life of colleagues or friends, but uh, obviously it's the service that we believe, and we absolutely enjoy doing it. And we also believe we are serving the community by providing the information they require. We believe we are saving lives because, as you are aware, Mogadishu was a violent city for the last 20 years. So the area that maybe was safe today, it will not be safe tomorrow. So, for example, uh, we have one program that aware civilians what area needs to be avoided because there was maybe fighting taking place and what area is safe to go. So we believe we're saving lives and that's what motivates us and drives us. What kind of feedback do you get from your listeners in Mogadishu and elsewhere in Somalia? We have a huge audience of ordinary men and women, regardless of what town and city and ethnicity they are come from, they appreciate the job we're doing for them. When you walk on the street, they shake your hand and thank you for what we do. The only enemy we have is the political players who are obviously trying to shut down the independent media house and try to oppress media organizations. But the feedback we are getting from the people, we sometimes conduct a program that people can call our studio, and it seems to me more than 90% of the calls we are getting indicate that people are very happy with the service we are providing them, and we receive a lot of appreciation and thanks. What is the key reason why they tune into your station? First thing is they know we're not supporting any parties. We are obviously independent. Each party, the bad things they do to the community, we broadcast it. The good things they do, we broadcast it. And sometimes we upset some people because we broadcast it and report the fact, and they may not like it. Do journalists understand that they are taking huge risks when they agree to work with you? Yes, absolutely, they do. And why are they so determined to work for you? I would say two main reasons. One is the journalists who are obviously sacrificing their lives by going on the field and reporting believe like we do that they are doing good things for the community. They are promoting peace, stability, human rights, and freedom of speech and information. Second thing is Shabelle Media Network is one of the established and biggest media organizations in Somalia. A lot of journalists who started their journalism career in Shabelle are today working big media organizations. So obviously they can see the future and they can see they can develop and gain a lot of skills, experience that might lead a very established career for them. Why are you such a lone voice in Somalia? There was other organizations, but unfortunately, Al-Shabaab are recently looted and taken over for those uh, independent radio stations, such as Horn Afrique. It was a very big media organization. But unfortunately, Al-Shabaab took over and looted all their equipment. How do other journalists in Somalia operate? What are the kind of problems that they have to deal with? If I give you an example, for the last two years, only Shabelle, five journalists were killed, including our directors. Seven journalists suffered severe injuries. 21 journalists were in prison. We've been taken off the air and shut down for more than four times. Almost 100 professional journalists that we were trained has been forced to flee the country. That explains the risks and the difficulties that the Somali journalists are operating. Lastly, if you could just sum up for me what this uh, award means for you and uh, your team of journalists. I cannot uh, describe in word how much this award is meant to us. Reporters Without Borders recognizing our hard working and dedication and giving us the moral support. 
Obviously, this award is not only for Shabella Media Network. This award is for all the Somali journalists facing risks every day. And obviously, this will drive us and motivate us to continue our struggle. Ali Dahir of Radio Shabele in Mogadishu.